Welcome, my randumbos. First of all, we get a random BTD6 hero, and we get Etienne. Then we get a random monkey to start off the game with, and then we get a random track, and we get the wizard monkey. This is all very weird, but let's have some fun together. Okay, so this randomization's interesting. Um, first of all, we cannot do an Etienne start, and that means we are forced to try to do a wizard start over here, which is not usually all that good. Um, positioning wise, I think this might be the best position for us. Uh, also, we might want to get guided magic here so we can kind of like eventually see through walls and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know. I mean, we, I think we have to just to start this game off. All right, so wizard start, definitely tricky. Let's try the guided magic and see if that's going to do anything for us. Um, it does allow us to see through those walls, which is quite helpful, you know, with this tree stump and stuff in the way here. Doesn't necessarily increase our popping power, though, and that does kind of keep us from, um, getting all this other stuff going very, very quickly. But, if I can get a fireball going, I might be able to sneak through and beat even green balloons and stuff. Um, coming up soon. Oh my god. Alright. Going very weak right now, but it is what it is. Uh, we get a, let's go fireball here. I think that's gonna be the best, best answer for us. And then, coming up, um, so I don't know if I told you guys the rules yet. So the basic rules are, is that we get a random tower to start, and then we get a random tower every 10 rounds that we get to put down. We don't have to, uh, uh, necessarily upgrade that thing, but we have to put it down. Um, as long as we have the money for it, we have to put it down. For example, a super monkey or a dartling gun or whatever, it has to be our next tower. Like, we can't just skip it or something like that. So, um, in this situation, we're gonna do another randomization. Let's see what we're gonna get here, guys. Let's pause this puppy and, uh, pop on over into our, uh, window area. And we're gonna get another random tower. Um, let's see what we get. Come on, give me something good. A bomb shooter. Okay, that's not horrific. It's not great, but it's also not horrific. So, when we pop back into BT6 here, I've got just about enough money for a cannon. Um, yeah, I just need a, a hundred bucks or so. Not the best tower ever. I could go Wall of Fire if I could afford it, but I think I might be better off still going Cannon. Um, and I can't upgrade this guy as well. I think uh, if I want to go for a Cannon upgrade, I'm going to go for a Bottom Path 3rd tier, most likely. I think that's the best way to pop the most balloons. But I can definitely tell you one of my biggest weaknesses is still just the amount of uh, total poppage that I'm going to have over here. Uh, against speedy balloons, like pinks and yellows and things like that. I'm, I'm kind of worried about them. So we're going to try, though. See if we can get it going. Frag Bombs. All right, round 12, not too shabby. Could have been much, much worse. And the cluster ca cluster bombs. That's going to be where it's all at, boys. If we can get a cluster cannon, life will be good. Okay. Um, round 13, 14 aren't too bad, but round 15 is pretty bad. Round uh, pinks just randomly sneaking through is is just terrible. I hate it. Um, I don't think we're going to need a cluster cannon before round 15 either. We might get it on 15. 200 bucks? Eh, probably not, actually. We have to survive this one. Though it's not actually going too terrible. Uh-oh, yellow balloon is trying to sneak through. See, this is all it takes is one balloon to sneak through, and you lose. Wizard, get it! Get it! Yes! With the fireball. Another yellow balloon is trying to sneak through, though. This time, cannon comes in. And no! Round 15. Dang, bro. Okay, I'm not very happy about this, but I am going to go for the fat... Uh, no, I'm going to go for the bigger bombs upgrade here. Um, I think once I get the heavy... Oh, crap. But pink, pink balloons are sneaking through, bro. How did this happen? Last time, we did fine. And this time, this is happening? What? Okay... Um, let me leave this guy on first and see if that's going to do anything. And we're going to put him on strong randomly. I want him to hit through them yellow and pink layers and stuff and let him just kind of do some extra damage here. We get him down to greens. That actually is not too bad. Put him back on first. I think we're going to clean this up. And we do. We beat round 16. That's going to us to get the cluster cannon. That's going to keep us in this game for sure. Now, I do have Etienne available here. So I think it's about that time to start saving up and getting our hero flowing. We have a random hero available. Let's use him up. Um, we also get another free tower, or not a free, but another randomized tower at round 20 here. Hopefully it's something good. Um, towers that I really don't want. I don't really want a spike factor around this map. I'm not really a big fan of the engineer right now. Um, ice and glue, I always just like to stay away from, even though they're really not bad. They just don't necessarily meld well with other towers that you're going to be building. So here we go, Etienne. Let's put him on the tree stump. Bam. I don't think he needed to be on the tree stump at all, because he's got drones that see over everything. But it's kind of like a nice overview spot. Here we get another randomized tower. All right, let's pause this up. Let's go check this out. Let's randomize this puppy. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Come on, random tower. Give me something good. Give me something good. We get the... Oh, banana farm. Suck my balls. We got to go 10 rounds without a tower now, guys. That sucks. 
So... Okay, we... C oh, crap. We cannot get uh, camp detection now. Etienne's got to be our only way to get camp detection. I don't know if I got him up in time, man. Um, I might need to buy his levels. Let's see. I think it's uh, level 5 that he finally gets the camp detection. Uh, he's up to level 4. I don't think he's going to make it to level 5 here, so we're going to have to... Oh, yeah, we got to buy it. Dang, this sucks. But I had to spend $1,000 on my hero here just to stay alive because I got stupid banana farms here and also because I was somewhat stupid. I don't know if it was fully stupid and I did not get cam detection on my wizard here. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles when it's randomization, man. You never know what you're going to get. You never know what kind of chaos is going to ensue here. Every round is difficult, though. Anything can happen. So we do have some money. Um, we can spend it up, but I think I want to get my wall of fire here. It's really bad against purple balloons, especially right at the very beginning of the map, but um, against everything else, it's going to be pretty gosh darn powerful. Um, sucks, though. He's also not camo balloon detection at all right now, but once this guy gets to level 8, that will change, and we will have full camo detection for the rest of the game. That'll be wonderful. Very, very, very wonderful. All right, we get a new tower. It's, ran it's round 31 already. Let's go check this out. Um, let's randomize our next tower here. See what we get. We get a attack shooter. All right, I will take myself a attack shooter any day of the week, man. All right, uh, attack shooter. Positioning, positioning, positioning. This is uh, a little tricky. I would not mind right here and then getting attack zone, having them explode in this entire area. But I also wouldn't mind, you know, maybe, just maybe, we'll get an alchemist or a village later. Maybe we can power this guy up in an extremely awesome way. Um, getting right here and getting him up to attack zone. Um, we do have to think about things like this with uh, these longer term things. What if we just get four banana farms in a row? We've already lost one of our towers. We only get a total of ten towers in the entire game. We get one for round um, six. And then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. So we get really 11 towers and a hero. Uh, but we missed one of ours. We only get a total of 10 today because the banana farm already happened. And there's no, there's no, uh, nothing stopping more banana farms from happening again. So anyways, attack shooter, we gotta put this guy down. Um, I think this is the best spot though, and I think I wanna get him up to attack zone. I wanna make sure I have some sort of Moab popping power right at the very beginning. Um, and for right now, this will be very helpful because I can get him up to an overdrive, which will also pop the Moab. These two guys are not really uh, Moab poppers, pretty much at all. So I'm kind of I'm kind of lucky with this guy. Um, and this is gonna work out really, really well for us, I believe. Lead popping power, we got all the types of popping power except for good camo detection. But Etienne will soon give us all camo detection. So that was actually a very lucky hero for us. Because if you get randomization with like boomerang, dart monkey, taxiderms, it's like you have to really, really rely on low amounts of cam detection with that kind of strategy. Or even none. You might just automatically lose with a, an impossibility strategy. Regardless, round 37, I actually feel like we are doing very well at this point. Camo balloon popping power is a little on the low side. A little on the low side. Oh, come on, bro. Look at that garbage. Okay, so we're just going to use... Oh, crap. I used the ability <sighs> too early. Um, yeah, it's not gonna last, is it? Dang. Okay, so that was, uh, that was horrible. I hate my life. Wait, maybe we'll get it back? Maybe? Maybe we'll get lucky? Just have him pop everything? Nope! Oh, and we almost lost! Oh my god. 37's being a major pain in my panties right now. I'm gonna blow this load a little early here. And we do get it done. But, uh, back to 38. We don't get a new tower until we beat round 40, though. So we do have to beat the Moab with what we currently have here. And I am leaning towards maybe getting a Dragon's Breath Wizard here. This is going to be a camo detecting arcane blasting uh, wizard, which isn't very normal, to be completely honest with you guys. But uh, I think it'll uh, be kind of cool to have. Plus, it's really good against Moabs and just general bloonage for now. It won't be super duper good 80 plus. But at this point, I don't know what I'm necessarily going to get. So I don't know what I want. Oh, we get another randomized tower. All right. So uh, let's uh, pause this real quick. Pop over here. We're going to randomize. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? We get a... A druid. Okay. That's intriguing. Usually you don't build a single druid anywhere. So... Uh... I don't think I'm actually going to upgrade this guy very much. I think I'm just going to leave him as a base druid. I don't think he's going to do much for me. I'm just going to pop him right here. He's going to be some uh, popping power. If I have uh, any inkling to do anything different, I'm probably going to get him up to a 402 or something. Oh my god. He doesn't have cam detection yet. He needs $220 to get cam detection. These drones suck sometimes. <clears throat> come on, come on, come on. Get him done. Get him done. 
And there we go. We do take down run 42, and we will reach full camo detection. All right, so now, for the rest of the game, every single tower has camo detection. I've been using Etienne a lot lately, so I'm actually fairly used to how good he is and everything. He's not a bad hero whatsoever, and I think the main aspect is that camo detection. But using his level 10 ability can save you in a lot of really, really rough spots. So we've got purple balloons coming in, but generally, purple balloons are not that big of an issue for us. But that does stop our wall of fire and dragon's breath from being useful kind of at all. Uh, I think the best thing for us to save up for is a tax zone at this point. Um, we can get a recursive cluster with heavy bombs if we desire, but so far I am not afraid of balloons. Um, I'm a little afraid of Moabs, but this guy's pretty good against them, so um, we'll wait until round 50 and see what we get. But again, otherwise, save it up for a tax zone. All right, it's currently round 50. We're going to do something fancy here. I am going to buy the tax zone. I am going to leave that running while we go check out our randomizer. So let's get our new random tower. I'm going to give me something good here. I need like a monkey ace or something. Sniper. Okay. We can make the sniper work for us, I think. Um. Okay. How do we want to use the sniper to our advantage? There are a lot of different options for us, obviously. Uh, I don't want to go supply drop or elite sniper because we're wasting money on this guy. Elite defender could be worthwhile, but usually falls off late game. Um, if I actually wanted to use some sort of sniper here, I think a main Moab might be our only real good option for a late, 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 late game. Um, and also, we have to pretty much use up one of our tree stump spots here so we can get uh, full range on everything. We're going to put him right here. And the reason why I'm putting him here is because the shrapnel shot does shoot through and kind of go through to the balloons behind him. So if I put him over here, it might kind of miss a little bit. If I put him over here, it's at least reasonably close to shooting down a straight line this way. And the shrapnel will go through it into the next balloon or into the next Moab in this situation because we're going to get a main Moab with shrapnel shot. I like the shrapnel shot a lot better than the fast firing because uh, we can hit more balloons overall. And that makes it worthwhile for me. All right, the good news here is... Um, I am not afraid of round 59. Camo leads can also be a really, really big problem for us, but in this situation, we've got the camo lead popping power with either the cannon or the wizard. And we're already almost ready for our next randomized tower. Things are going very, very well so far, but once round 80 hits, things change completely. There is no guarantee any way, shape, or form that we're going to get the right towers at the right time. And a lot of my towers are already kind of maxed out to what they're going to be for the rest of the game. I have to get lucky and hope that for like a, a monkey ace or this guy or some sort of dartling gun that I can upgrade into something crazy. I don't even know. Um, so I'm a little afraid. Here we go. Round 60. We're going to get another randomized tower here. So let's go check it out. Let's randomize our next delicious monkey. Dart monkey. All right. That's not good either. Okay. Okay, um, dart monkeys are tricky. Yeah, all right, so we got round 70, we get another random tower. Oh crap, I forgot to turn that off, didn't I? Wow, I am an idiot. All right, well, we get another random tower. What do we get here? We get the boomerang. That could be clutch. All right, all right. That could be clutch. Boomerang. What we gonna do? What we gonna do? I think I got the answer. I think I know what I'm going to do. I think this could be the, the game changer for us. Um, I'm going to put him... I'm going to put him right here. Yes, I'm going to put him right here. And what I want to get is... Uh, if you look at all the options for us, we could try to save up for a Moab Dom. 54 grand could be too expensive in my opinion. I don't think we'll be able to get it. Perma charge is only 37. Plus a little bit, a little bit here. Four, four grand. But we're only talking about 40... 40 low 40s that is a very affordable okay and because he's got that automatic camo detection i don't have to worry about ddt's anymore but i do need to make sure i've got lead popping power so i've got the lead popping power now now we have to decide if we want to just send them backwards with a mobile press or try to do damage i think i want to try to do damage this is usually not the boomerang that i like to go for i'd rather mib this uh, uh top path but I think this is going to work out well for us. I do. I believe in it. Okay, round 76. Somewhat challenging for a stupid reason. I hate round 76, man. With all these weird challenges I've been doing, that is one of the toughest rounds for me, by far. Um, usually it's not a tough round, but in this situation it has been very tough. All right, so let's look at the popping power of some of my towers that I've gotten so far. My druid in the front has four grand. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm just doing something, I guess. Um, a wizard here, over 100k already. He's been around for the entire game. He's also a pretty decent wizard, but, you know, 
Um, he's doing a, a lot of pops for the amount of money that I spent on him. This guy, less than my wizard, believe it or not, because the wizard is reaching the guys before they get to my tax shooter, but 83,000 for this guy. Um, we're going to go for this ability, because that's just... Balloons seem to be a pretty major issue for me. Such a major issue that I'm probably going to end up getting a rec recursive cluster later on in this game. Though, uh, I almost regret my decision of not going for a top path cannon, because late game, around 80+, plus, top path cannons are usually better than bottom path cannons, because you stun the super ceramics for, like, forever. Um, where the bottom path is you're, like, trying to pop them almost. Um, and it doesn't really work well, because they've just got so many layers. So anyways, we are saving up for our big boy here. Um, we're only about $6,000 away from getting it. Should get it right around round 80 or 81. Uh, probably actually do off. We're gonna get it on this round. It's good, good, good. And we get another free random tower here for round 80. Okay. Um, yeah, it's gonna be close. Let's get our perma charge, though. I'd like it for this. Oh my god. I'd really like it. I don't need it, I don't think. Ugh, $800 away. Darn. Alright, let's start with a, uh... I guess this this Bowab stone's gonna be freaking beautiful here. All right, let's uh, um, I guess I don't need anything, do I? I'm just powerful enough to take it down. And there we go, we get a perma charge, baby. All right, so we get a perma charge, and now we're gonna bring back our randomization here and see what other tower we're gonna get. We get the ninja. Okay, that is interesting. So, I just wanted to point out really quickly before we build our ninja, is that we have uh, a ton of popping power now. This guy, this perma charge, is already really powerful as a base tower. And when you use your ability, you're going to get that much extra popping power. And he does have the DDD popping power as well. I don't know if it's going to be enough around 95 by himself necessarily, but with all my other support here, I think I've got it covered. I think. As far as ninjas are concerned, do we want to go for a 4th or 5th tier ninja at all? Well, a sticky bomb is pretty... Uh, Pretty decent. It's good against bads, it's good against DTs, it's good against the bigger, stronger balloons. We could even maybe go up to a master bomber if we want. Or we can say that we just want to slow the game down and let my other towers do the work. Balloon sabotage. I don't know which I want to go for. A master bomber would be would be pretty cool. Um, but without going for a bunch of shinobis in addition to him, he's going to be fairly weak. Uh, I could definitely afford him at some point this game, but I don't know exactly when. Um, because it's like 40, it's going to be like 50 grand to, to afford that guy. It's probably going to be in the mid-90s, maybe even after round 95, which might not be worth it. So, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my ninja, I'm going to wait. Alright, this is not something I was planning on doing, but I'm going to wait. Because I still, I still do have the ability to beat round 90 pretty easily. And I can see what my round 90 tower is going to be before I even make my decision. Okay, this is where it gets really tricky. Because anything... Oh my god, has this guy been on first this entire game? Oh my god, I'm such a noob. Alright, round 87 here. A little bit problematic, but we do take it down. I can't believe this guy's been on first this entire game. That's just that's just silly. Alright, anyways. Now we're going to be able to pop uh, Zoma Gods, BFPs, and stuff a little easier, hopefully. Still have a lot of our popping power right in the middle here. Right in the front. And uh, let's see how we do against DDTs. I am curious. I do not know. I believe we're going to be fine. I, I don't really see a major issue, but the tax zone is not going to do any DDT pop bar whatsoever. But you can tell ceramics are becoming a pretty major issue for me right now. And I don't know what else I want to do about those guys. Uh, I could... Oh, here we go. DDTs? Oh, no problem at all, man. I don't think I need them. And we get a random tower. So let's just play the game. I think we're going to be fine. We're going to randomize a new tower here. Randomize. And Alchemist. Oh! That, my friends, is interesting. What could I do with an Alchemist? Well, I would love to power up my Tax Zone and or my Boomerang the most. So here we go. We're going to use our Perma Charge on our Boomerang here. That looks like it's going to be enough to get us to run 91, but it's a little bit painful. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna alchemize. I'm hoping that this guy is going to alchemize my tax shooter, but, oh, man, it does not look like it's wanting to be all that helpful to me here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. There's no guarantees that this guy won't just alchemize my ninja, um, instead. But there it is. That's what it's gotta be. One, two, three, four. Who's he alchemizing? Oh, he's alchemizing the frickin' ninja. That sucks. Is he alchemizing anybody else? 
No, it looks like he's just doing the ninja. Oh, crap. That's not good. That's not what I wanted. Um, yeah, I don't see him alchemizing anybody else here. Uh, and I went perishing potions, not faster potions, which I should have done. Somewhat upsettingly here. Okay, so we're having trouble against balloons already. What are we gonna do? Oops, sorry about that. Just had a pretty wicked storm roll on in. Kind of out of nowhere. I was not expecting it. I wasn't even expecting it to rain. Let alone to have this uh, pretty crazy storm happen. And I left my uh, patio door open. And we had a bunch of water inside of our house. So, uh... Um... Uh, we're back, though. We're back. Oh, I have a little lot of breath. I just had to run up and down the stairs a couple times and make sure my dog threw okay and everything. But um, we didn't lose any power or anything, so that's good. But it's super windy, dude. Like a ridiculous amount of wind, like out of nowhere. I just went out for a walk today, and it was beautiful. Wonderful temperature, wonderful everything, and now I'm a little afraid that it's going to cool down a, a lot bit. It's going to be very unfun to have to deal with this. We're going to go for an early uh, perma charge here because I think we're going to get it back around 95. I have $40,000 saved up at this point. What am I going to do with it, though? So I think we have to turn our mistake into an unmistake. That's what I think I have to try to do. So, oh my god, there's a lot of balloons here. We're going to have to play this fairly slow for the time being. But um, let's talk about this. So I think I could afford the Grandmaster Ninja. 37, about 40... Okay, probably 42 grand. I think we got enough money for this. So I'm going to get the uh, the alchemy on this guy. And I think I just have to. I could go for a Grandmaster Bomber or whatever, but I think I'm going to be better off with the Grandmaster Ninja. And we are going to go for that Seeking Shuriken and those Keltrops, because why the heck not? And the alchemy won't be on it all the time, but when it is on it, it will do the depopping power as well, which will be extra specially beneficial for us. Okay, this is one of the rounds that I am definitely the most afraid of, though. Um, okay, 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 uh, perma charge, we're gonna wait on it for as long as we can, and boop, there we go, we're gonna blow it, blow it, blow it, going pretty well, Grandmaster Ninja is doing a lot of pops, not, not a crazy amount though, just a lot, um, usually you don't go for these ninjas unless you have shinobis available to you, and I do not have shinobis available, and we have to beat the rest of the game with whatever we have right now, so I'm gonna go summon Phoenix, uh, I believe that's the best play for me, then I guess. With my extra money, I have to buy a druid. I don't think I could buy anything else of Reese. Oh, I could go for a recursive cluster. Yeah, let's do that. And we're going to go for the uh, bigger bombs and heavy bombs here. I don't even know if that's actually going to matter much, but we're going to go for it. Our 96 is going down now with our Grandmaster Ninja. You can see the comparison between 94 and 96. 96 is, like, easy um, compared to that guy, which is kind of unusual, actually. Not the way that it should go down. 94 and 96 are almost comparable as far as uh, total pops go. But, oh my god, Bloons getting a little tricky here. 97 shouldn't be too bad. We're going to blow a, a quick summon Phoenix, and I think that's it. Um, we're going to ride this out because we need every single ability we have for round 98. And I think we have to go for it, guys. This is not what I wanted to, but I think the best play for me is a Ball Lightning. Uh, to get the most pops out of these guys. Ball Lightning is getting me the Tornado Druid as well, so these Super Ceramics that they're trying to sneak through will have to like, cut them out of the edge here. And we got to go Heart of the Vengeance for that extra 10% attack speed. And I don't believe I could spend any more money. Unless I save it for an Ultra Jug, which I do not believe is going to happen. Alright, we're going to go for another uh, Summon Phoenix sort of early here. We're going to go for an early Perma Charge. I could regret that decision. Um, and then we're going to go for a uh, fairly early UCAV. And we're going to hope that we get all this back before we go to round 99. That's the plan. These guys can go down because they're not going to do anything on round 99 anyways going pretty well. It's a little scary, but going pretty well. We're getting a lot of balloons randomly coming around through here, which might seem like a bad thing, but it's actually almost a good thing because we're going to get some of our abilities back. We're not going to get the UCAV back, but we're going to get Summon Phoenix and Perma Charge, which are the two more important ones for me. A lot of balloons still on the screen, though. And it's not... Wait! <gasps> one pink balloon. Oh my god. One pink balloon almost destroyed my life. Almost destroyed my life. Huh. But we get to try again. Okay, I don't really know what to do different, necessarily. Um, I will use all my abilities fairly quickly this time around. I'll also use the Phoenix here. Every ability we've got has been used now. We'll hope for maybe a little bit of luck, possibly. You know, sometimes that's all it takes, it's just a little bit of luck here. Uh, we'll go for this guy's upgrade as well. He is on... Oh, I need to move him to first. Maybe that's what the problem was. Alright. Question is, do I want to use another perfect charge here? I don't think I do. 
Dang, so that did not work at all. That that was unsuccessful. Okay, I believe one of my biggest mistakes was that I used my abilities very, very fact very, very like, quickly. Um, and UCAV isn't really good against the big balloons all that much. It's better against ceramics and stuff, I guess. So we're going to wait on the UCAV just a little bit. Um, I also have to move this guy back to first, make sure he's sending balloons back. And I do want to use my abilities here, but I just wanted to wait just a little bit longer. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay away from um, using this at all. I'm going to go for my perma charge here. Take it down some Moab, some balloons. We're going to use UCAV here to kind of finish this off, hopefully. Hopefully. And I'm going to use my Phoenix. Now, I will get the Perma Charge hopefully back before round 99. Otherwise, I have to completely restart. I can't I can't survive without Perma Charge. Um, it's like almost a fact. Uh, balloons are getting really far over here. But with this guy, we do take him down. We got a Zoma God left. That's actually almost a good thing because I think that's going to be take downable. Um, going pretty well. This guy's stunning the balloons, kind of keeping them in place a little bit. Permacharge Charge is back. I think that's all I need for our 99, and we're going to get our Phoenix back as well, I believe. This is actually perfect stunning. And there it is. Oh, and we get an Etienne max level here. We do not get the UCAV for it. But we're going to go for an early Permacharge Charge here on round 99, take down all the Moabs and the DTs as they come out. We're going to Phoenix as well. Um... Okay, it's looking... It's a little scary. A couple DDTs trying to sneak through over here. The, the sniper's actually hitting a lot of DDTs, though. And with that Phoenix... With that Phoenix and that Perma Charge, we do take down round 99. Round 99. Now, all we've got left is one level to go. Round 100. But the problem is my abilities are not here right where the bad needs to be. So I get a UCAV here fairly early. We're going to use uh, Etienne's ability as well. Um, Etienne's doing a majority of the damage, I would say, to this bad so far. Perma Charge sadly has to be used fairly early... And I think I'm going to... Oh, here we go. We're going to go for the Phoenix. Okay, okay, okay. Phoenix does take down the DDTs. All we got to do is clean up a few more balloons over here. It's not a guarantee, though. These are still really quick balloons. But I think we've got it. And Random Towers. Can they take down? Yes, they can. <claps> Boom. We've done it, my friends. Random Towers can also beat Chimps Mode. Now, I'll admit that I just completely made up the rules to this specifically random challenge, but if you guys are interested in this stuff and you guys liked my rules, let me know. If you guys think that I should tweak the rules to change it up to, like, you know, uh, do something different here, let me know what you think about it. Um, I think that I could end up getting a really hard uh, start or a really crazy different map that might be way more difficult, and that will actually add to the difficulty overall. But this was already really, really difficult, and we got lucky. We got a beginner map. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, if you haven't done it yet, please like, please subscribe, and of course, have a super duper delicious day.